Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina. Today I have a few items that I want to share with you that I picked up on a little shopping expedition that I went on. I stopped off at Michael's and I also stopped off at Hobby Lobby and I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to see if there was any new items from the Happy Planner that were like stocked in the stores. Now the first Michaels that I stopped at, actually I was kind of surprised because there usually was a whole aisle of Happy Planner or Planner items and that aisle had been like replaced with like other types of like paper uh, products as far as like um, paper crafting tools and things like that and the planner stuff that they did have was moved to like an end cap. So it was a really small section and I was really surprised, but then I kind of started thinking about it and I thought, you know what? Their focus is really not going to be on planners right now. Their focus is gonna be more on like Halloween and getting ready for Christmas. So they probably really need that space to go ahead and add in all of the products that they're bringing in for those holidays. So I, once I kind of thought about that, I, I sort of kind of like realized like, okay, well, that's probably what they're doing. And then I did stop off at another Michael's. It was kind of a similar situation. It wasn't really on an end cap, but it was really just like a small little section. So if you're stopping off at your um, local uh, craft stores, Michael's and Joanne and Hobby Lobby and such, and you're seeing that, I wouldn't be too worried about it. It could just be that, you know, they're making room for other priorities that, you know, people are looking for currently. So anyway, um, I had, funny story. I had started to do like kind of almost like a shopping vlog. I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, but when I went and looked back at like all the footage, it was just kind of weird. So I don't know. I might try to bring that to you though. I thought it would be kind of fun to bring you like shopping with me. But yeah, the um, what I filmed didn't really like work out. So here I am just sharing with you the items that I picked up. All right, nice and easy. All right, so this beautiful Bloom sticker book, this is really interesting. It has a completely like different type of sticker sheet in here. Um, as you could see, they're like, I don't know, they're almost like an, on an acetate. And I'm really not sure if the stickers themselves are like, they're, they're definitely a different material than what we're used to seeing. So I'm going to do a flip through of this after I show you all of the items that I got here. Um, but yeah, this one's Beautiful Blooms and this one I picked up at Michael's. And I did stop off at Hobby Lobby, like I said, and they had a sale. I don't know if they still have that going on by the time like this video comes out. But um, yeah, I was really excited about that because I was able to pick up a few things that I kind of had on my wish list, but not like as a priority. And one of those things were these um, bookmarks and these are from the La Flor uh, collection, which I did get the planner and sticker books. And I wasn't quite sure about getting these bookmarks because I figured I'd wait for a sale. So I'm so glad that I did. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. So these weren't much money at all. Um, I'm sorry, I don't, oh, they were $6.49 at Hobby Lobby, but then they had the 40% off, so that was like a really good deal. So I got those bookmarks, and then I also got some new stencils, because Happy Planner did put out some new stencils in this most recent fall release. So I was able to pick these up, whoops, I one of them right here. So I love using my stencils, and these are what I like to use, like, every week. So I really like these right here. Um, and then here's the other one that came in there. And these are really nice because you can put them into your planner. I don't really use this that much, although these little um, bullet points, those might be really nice. Oh, and the line. I like that. Um, yeah. So anyway, I figured I could use some new ones because the ones that I currently have were getting a little bit on the older side. Um, the other thing I picked up was this horizontal planner, which I was really excited. This is actually a, going to be a gift for my mom. I'm going to put this to the side for now because I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. But this is going to be a Christmas gift for her. I always get her a planner every year. It's a horizontal layout. She loves that. It works out wonderfully for how she uses it. And this one's got these really pretty butterflies here. I'm just going to like pop it open so you can kind of see the cover. 
but I'm not really taking things off. But it is really pretty. The butterflies are pretty. Um, this one has got a little gold foil detailing on here. It looks like a rose gold, and it says anything anything here is possible down here. So that's really pretty. Um, it is plastic discs that this is on. And then here's the back. Um, so I'm going to, oops, oh, I didn't mean to rip that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. She won't even realize, but that's pretty. That's really pretty. So I do want to give you like a kind of a quick flip through of this one. And um, look at the inside cover with all the butterflies. So if you really like butterflies, I would take a peek at this one. I know it's also on the Happy Planner website, but I'm going to kind of gingerly take this off. And um, here's the hello, the little welcome page, horizontal layout. I really feel like the horizontal layouts have been very hard to find lately. Oh, no, I couldn't get a hold of that. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Um, she never really writes her name in here or anything like that, but um, she is super, super functional. She doesn't use any stickers. Um, she uses it to write down like all of her medical stuff. So I'm going to show you how she uses it, but look at how pretty that dashboard is. All right, I have a feeling that everything in here is really, really plain, which I kind of wish there were some color, but I really think that all of these layouts are like the same. Yeah, it looks like just down the center here, like this is like little tiny dots and this has got the um, little pinstripes. I'll go through the dashboards in a second. I'm just looking at these layouts. Yeah, these are all gray. They're kind of boring. I don't know. I might bring her some stickers just for her to like maybe have some fun with. I don't know if she'll actually use them, but like she has to take medications like four times during the day. So she'll write those times down. Like she'll like set it all up for the week. And then she'll also write down like um, what her blood pressure and then her blood sugar level is. And then she'll sometimes make notes like what she did for the day or that type of thing. Or she has a doctor's appointment that I take her to. Um, so she'll like fill it out. She'll have it like all ready to go. And then that way um, she'll like when she gets up in the morning, she has to take her first medication. She'll write that time in. And then she has to wait a little bit and then take her next and then she'll write that time in. So it's kind of like a nice log for her for every day when she took her medicine. So um, just a little bit of an idea. I thought I'd share that with you in case you know anybody that you're caring or if you're caring for anybody, um, this might be a really good tool for them to use to keep track of like all of the medications and things that they need to do for the day. So just a little bit of an idea. Here are the dashboards. This one's pretty. February from earth to sea to sky. May you learn to grow, to swim, to fly. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this one's let your spirit soar. Oh, I like this one. Just when the caterpillar thought her life was over, she began to fly. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I'm not a big fan of this color green, but that just looks really pretty. And then with that monarch butterfly and it says here, there's always something good. And this is pretty collage of butterflies. Oh, I love this pink. True beauty blooms from the heart. Anything is possible. And that's the cover. Let your soul and spirit fly. This is really pretty. This looks like the cover page, um, like your name page. Live in the moment. And then this pretty like blue in here. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. I think she'll like it. I wish there were colors, but um, yeah, I got to do with what I have. You know, there weren't a whole lot of things I felt like to choose from, from the horizontal layouts. Um, I just feel like Happy Planner is really kind of minimalize their horizontal layout options. So I don't know if, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that they've done that, but Okay, and then of course, I could not go there and not look at the clearance section. So I found this in the clearance section and I really don't have a desire for this. Let me take it out of this plastic. Um, but it's part of the work life um, line that they launched actually last year or no, they, yeah, they actually, they launched it this year. 
2022. So this actually runs, it's a 12 month deluxe planner and it runs from July through June of 2023. Okay, I thought it ended. I thought this particular one ended this year. I didn't really look at that. But um, I thought it was kind of interesting when I first saw it. I did see it like before I was able to flip through this because they did have this collection out um, when I went to go wild earlier this year. But um, it was really, really pretty, but I didn't really have a need for it. But and the reason I picked it up now is because it was on clearance for $11.24. I was like, seriously? And then there's metal discs on here. So here, I'm going to open this up. Even the metal discs are O-ring discs. They're not, um, they're not, um, heart cut. Oh, I just realized that this thing is scraped. I thought, you know what? I probably could have picked up another one because I thought this would be a great way for me to house my planners or one of my planners, not planners, one of my planners. And but it's like the cover I thought was kind of cool, but it's scraped here. I just saw that. Look at that. But I mean, what do you, what can I expect, right? For $11. But I thought, this was great to pick up just because of the metal discs. So this is how this is all like packaged. It's got this cardboard in here. So this is interesting. So the actual cover, ooh, do these, do these come out? Well, this is so weird. I, I hope these come out because that's why I bought this. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Oh, oh, this is like in here. Oh, that's so weird. These got to come out though. I would imagine they do. Let's give it. Oh, okay. They come out. You just got to give them like a really good tug. Oh, so I love that. That's so cool. So yeah, look at the discs in here. Isn't that nice? They're so professional looking. And I know that everything in here is very minimal and the tabs are different, but um, let's just take a quick peek at it. Um, this one's got accounts and passwords. It does have a quick glance here, July through June, um, printed dates. Then it has the, sh the like, um, the one line calendar here. Without risk, there would be no magic. This is really pretty, like the tabs really pretty. And I think there's some additional pages in here. Oh yeah, this is interesting. So look at this. This has July goals, focus on important dates, to-do list, and then there's a lined note section. I like this. Like, I really like this. Ooh, this might be an interesting alternative for my social media planner. Cause I really like these pages. I like that they're like connected with the month at a glance. And then it's a vertical layout, but it's very, very um, minimalistic, super, super. And then it's got like these like tiered tabs. See, see how August comes in like this. Okay, and this one says a little progress. Each day adds up to big results. And everything else in here, I believe is like the same. Yeah, it's super. Super, super neutral, like nothing at all. So here are the tabs, September, October. Oh, I really like that pink. Oh, this one's pretty too. I like framing these tabs, like any tabs, like if I don't use pages from a planner and I like, for example, I bought this planner honestly because I really, like for 11.24, like I got these awesome discs, they're metal discs. So I was really happy about that. Um, this is kind of weird though. Here's December. Okay. January, February, but yeah, as like I was saying, um, you know, if you want to like deconstruct your planner and use the tabs in another planner, or what I also like to do is, um, cut these down and frame them a really, really cute way to like repurpose them. Okay, and here's the end. Now, it looks like there's some additional things back here. So let's take a quick peek. So there's, um, here's the back of the planner. And there's that one last note page. But look at their stickers. There's a page of stickers. So 
This is definitely something different and I really like these stickers. Like I like the colors. These are really pretty. Ooh, and then there's a folder. And I really like the color there too. So I like to use these folders in my happy notes because I have happy notes set up for like things that I need to like take care of. And um, yeah, so that's really nice. So I'm probably just going to, not probably, I am going to like deconstruct this and use what I find most useful in here. But that's the reason why I love looking at the clearance section. It's just a great way to find some things that maybe you were looking at and interested in, but not really like we're going to buy, you know, maybe it was like on your wish list, but like lower on your wish list. And this really wasn't on my wish list at all, but I'm glad that I could pop these out of here um, and use these discs. And I love that they're like super neutral, like with that old, with the O punch instead of with the heart punch, because that makes it very professional looking. And I bet you I could fit any planner in here, right? So you just like pop them in here. And this I think is a, a nice little way to store your planner, providing it fits in here. Oh, and that is bent a little bit. Yeah, so the cover is a little bit messed up, but it's not bad. I mean, it's really, it's actually very pretty planner. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it is pretty. It's good. It's a little banged up, but like I said, got it on the clearance. So not bad for $11. Okay. Let's take a peek at this sticker book because I am very intrigued in this. And I actually want to pull up one of these stickers too. So I grabbed a sticker sheet and I grabbed also some white paper because I really want to see, like you can't look at this sticker book without having a background. All right. So let's go ahead and start. So I'll put this back here. So this is obviously going to take me a little bit because I have to put this on the back of every page. But um, these are pretty, these bouquets. They're realistic. They look like just, um, they're really pretty florals. Let me, I want to pick up one of these stickers. Yeah, these are definitely like a thicker. They're not like your regular clear stickers. They're definitely a like a thicker material and um, this is a sticker sheet so it'll come right back up but yeah it's very very pretty but like I said the material is definitely on the thicker side so um, it's it's and it's not very translucent so it's like a clear sticker but it's matte so you can't really see like I bet you I'm not going to stick it down, but I just want to get an idea. I bet you if you like grab a planner and you can't see the lines, that's pretty cool. So you don't have to cover, oops, oops, please come up. Okay. That's a good way to test it out. You don't have to cover up lines with these stickers because they're not this. Well, no, I do see the line. I do see it on that light pink. So yeah, you might have to still cover things up. I take it back. I thought maybe you wouldn't have to. I guess it depends on how dark the color is on the sticker. Um, if the sticker, if the color is like on the darker side, you probably don't have to cover up the lines. It almost looked like it was so opaque that you didn't have to like worry about covering things up. So it's definitely more opaque than like our regular clear stickers that we're used to. And the material is on the thicker side, that's for sure. Um, but you would still have to cover lines underneath, but yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this because this fits like perfectly in here. Yeah, sort of, it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. Okay, so, and then this actually has a perforation. So here, let me put this under here so you could see what I'm talking about. See how this has got this? That's a perforated line. So you can bend this and tear out a page that you want to use. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's just keep moving here. So those are pretty. And these are all just going to be floral. This one's called uh, Beautiful Blooms. So 
let's see just for flipping through yeah okay now this might be a little tricky i might have to like weigh it down but here we go let's just keep plugging away oh these are very pretty so they're like all pieces so you could create your own bouquets which that's always really nice yeah i definitely like there we go okay so i'm going to try to go through this i might fast forward through it because this is going to be a little tedious oh that's pretty look at those petals All right, so this is a beautiful sticker book. I know I sort of had to flip through this. Wow, that was really loud, sorry. These are heavy, like these sheets are heavy. Like you can't just pick them up. I'm trying to pick it up and like do a flip through like that, but it's really hard to do that. So um, yeah, I wanted to make sure that you got to see like each of the pages. And the only way to do it is to of course put the backing on here, which um, was a little bit more time consuming. So I just figured, I would speed through that flip through for you so that way you could see the details in here. Um, these stickers are really pretty. Like you, if, if you've been following me for a while, subscribe to me for a while, then you know I absolutely love florals. So yes, I was, I'm glad that I picked that up. I wasn't going to pick it up, but then when I saw it in the store, I was very intrigued with it. So I picked it up because of that. I picked it up because I was really curious about it. So I'm glad that I got this. And of course, I'm so happy that I found my mother's planner that she'll be using. And then I got a couple of good deals with uh, some of these accessories that I got. My stencils and these bookmarks. This is going to look really pretty in my um, planner because it's going to all like coordinate. So I like when things coordinate. And then um, this one is definitely very interesting. Now they do have a new line that starts 2023, January 2023. So if you are interested in picking this up for yourself, um, you could definitely get that for uh, January of 2023. That is out currently. That was released with the fall release. So all of these items are from the fall release with the exception of this one. But like I said, they do have the new line out. And honestly, I think it's probably like exactly the same. I think the color might be a little bit different. They might have some different colors available, but the concept is all the same and it's like super neutral. I'm not sure if they changed the layout at all on this um when i did my shopping like shop with me video i don't remember if i opened this up to look at this product but uh you could definitely find it um on the happy planner website or you could go to hobby lobby and all of these other items are available at the happy planner website so if you want to pick them up um i do have a link uh, uh, for them uh, the Happy Planner down below in my description. And um, it is an affiliate link. So if you do decide to purchase, then I greatly appreciate if you could go through my affiliate link. It does not cost you anything extra. It does um, give me a little commission if you choose to purchase. Um, and if you don't choose to purchase, at least they see that you uh, were like directed to their site because um, you watched something that I shared with you. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I know it's just kind of like a mishmash of things, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing a shop with me, like at the store type of thing. I don't know, is it something that you would like to watch? Uh, drop a comment down below and let me know. I do have a couple of other like shop with me videos where I'm like shopping online 
design and I really had a lot of fun doing that. So let me know if you like the idea of, you know, either one of those video ideas, um, either like in the store or like shopping online with me. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you did like it, please be sure to hit the like, be sure to be subscribed, drop a comment. And thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, just a reminder, I'm also on Instagram and I'm also on TikTok. So you can find me over there at It's a Wonderful Plan. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.